Okay, I am hopefully... Yes, I am live. Live, live. Playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. After having completed Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now, new game. Or English, I guess. If I have to. Yep, now saving screen, autosave. The game is currently muted at the moment because of um, Pokemon music. So you can't hear any of the music. Welcome to my realm, located bo beyond both time and space in the time vortex. It is well that thou art here. I am which I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Okay, so last time. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. This one. What is thy name? Okay, now how did I get in the time vortex? That's what I want to know. Because um, being in the time vortex. Let me just. I'm kind of. There we go. There we go. Well, I just want to have it monitored. I just want to know how many time for text. Okay. Yep. All is correct and as it should be. Hikaru. Soon thou shalt find them thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Hikaru. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Is it a complete Pokedex? Ah, oh, great. But what if I don't want to clean out, you know, do a whole Pokedex? I hope I don't land on my head. Ah, crap. You know, that phone cost me a lot of money. A lot of money. I am not hearing any sound effects. Ooh, slimy. I'm about to go battle a god. Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh my god, talking Pokemon! So this is the world where Meowth came from. Are you alive, my girl? Oh. I thought I was talking Pokemon. As soon as I can get to settings, I'll be fine. It gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach. Of course. 
Of course, it's Prelude Beach. The Prelude is the Prelude Beach. Yes. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow addle your memory? Well, considering what I'm wearing, I must say your clothing, clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Uh, I don't think so. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. I thought I was on a prelude beach, not inside of a pickle. If I was inside of a pickle, I'd eat, eat myself, you know, out because pickles. Pickles are tasty. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere you could, around here you could stay? I don't think so. No, I don't. No. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. And I'm on a beach. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Um, I guess, somehow, um... Let me get a couple sticks and I can start, you know, I, I'm going to go start a fire. And burn the place down! Ah, I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a, a person in such need. I can stay in that boathouse. A crew. A foom. And a push splash. Taking a bath. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just got up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Well, their god probably told them that. Ah, <sighs> but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Yeah, those things. Duh. I got a Pokeball on my shirt. Oh my, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, ho, so you're called Hikaru. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Uh, not really. It's, it's the name my parents gave me. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three. Oh, crap, they're running away. Oh, my God. They must have found a berry. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Okay, I can't. Okay. I can't enter, uh, enter settings yet, huh? Okay, but I can easily move. Can I click the camera? Okay. Everything seems to work. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. Investigate it. You found something that resembles a phone. Oh, good. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. So, I gotta catch them all? Gotta catch them all, Pokemon? Okay. Okay. There, I can up my there. Oh, there's settings. Ah, uh, settings. Music. Okay. Now I can uh, unmute this.
Oh, that's better. Now I can have audio. Now. Can I break into this boathouse? That's obviously what this is. There's a dock. There's a boat. There's a house. No. Nope. Okay. Anything around here? Nope. and yet another miss. Haha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best so at this sort of thing. This beep, 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 boo. I'd love to give it a... I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is a Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. And it's a cute little bird. That one over there is a Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. With a foom. Now, the Pokemon near the pond is Ashawat. Ashawat naps while floating on the water. It can battle using a shell like object on its belly. And it's taking a bath. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the, my most crucial thing. How you go about catching Pokemon. It's a Pokeball, of course. I got one on my shirt. Here, girl, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. They're so primitive looking. Oh, 50. Ah, uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? No, I didn't. Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that is where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. I've known about them for years, all my life. We've had them all my life. All my life. Well, not all my life. I mean, Pokemon came around in the 90s. And that was live well before the 90s. But, you know what I mean. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've, got, you've caught a Pokemon. Now, I know we just met... But I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awful grateful if you can catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose. Uh, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Okay. You know, just angle and aim. With the ZR button. And then... At least it's throw. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've ready to Pokemon but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay. Got 50 balls. There, there, there's one. Okay. Yeah, fireworks. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. Seems you get quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Hikaru. It's all useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Well, not of these three, they're cute. I 
hardly believe it, Hikaru. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Right there. Wasted one ball, but... No! I guess I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. I'm not old! He called me old! Rowlet! Get him! He called me old. I'm a kid. I love the little fireworks. They're cute. They're fun. Thank you very much indeed. What a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you have caught just... ...have only just arrived at the village to help with our, uh, research. But they won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you would be caught you come falling. But I must say, Hikaru, I was taken aback how, how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here. And now. Seek out all Pokemon and destroy? That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be... Guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. It we in the field call such a catalog a uh, Pokedex. Yes, uh, proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But, in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them all. Catch them all. Pokemon. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented. And not many have mastered the skill of using them. And to you, a oh, person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon, your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught, so I can perform sick and diabolical research on them. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Now, come now, what do you say? Shall we help out another, my girl? Sure, why not? Then, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Weave a Pokedex to complete. I decided he's got to have the Shatner accent. First, things first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then, we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me onward. 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 To Jubilife Village. Whoops. Wrong button.
Thank you for your tireless work. Keep it. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her to the village for a bit. Whoops. This way, if you please. Uh, Jibble Life Village, it's come a long way thanks to find people from something something. This road we're on now is known to the local as Canella Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, not many to do it. So we know little, so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead is Galaxy Hall, headquarters of the entire outfit. Oh, botheration. i almost forgotten. <clears throat> I need to go and report that we successfully covered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here. Then, to the left. The wall flower, it's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it, needs, it seems to show you where you need to go next. Uh, the minus button to view the map on my arc phone. You can tilt the map for guidance to your next destination. Okay. You'll also see guidance markers when you're da da da. Okay. Okay, this is where I am. <clears throat> well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wall followers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along! In the world are you? What type of bizarre garb you're wearing? Hey, I'm wearing the same kind of garb you are. Look at me. How rude of him. Thinking I'm wearing bizarre garb. Look at my garb. It's perfectly normal. Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm. Well, for you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Lavington again? You know, do you, t you two, or do you, do you, the, I think I'm still suffering the effects of the game yesterday. Was it Professor Lavington? Do you two know each other? He's from a region law a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though, letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all that. Three more of them got away just a little while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon dropped me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled him for sure. But the professor will. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow to put up mildly. Ah! But everything will be quite all right now. Garu here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in... He's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? You can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Ah! Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am Captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silen. Silen. 
Professor Laverton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped out of his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor? Hmm, you look to be about 15 or so. And next is 48. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh-ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. But I am Captain. Captain Kirk, to be in fact. Huh. I think my brain's going. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. Uh, the rest of us, I'm not gonna do the voice. I keep forgetting to. It might slip out, might slip back in. No, might slip in, might slip out. I don't know. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi n n never fail to please. Where did you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, uh, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? The one people, you know, our new friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Yes, it was. Come on, come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. It's up to us and the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. But it's impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. Until we vivisect them. But that's where Hikaru will come in. Don't vivisect your Pokemon, please. That's just mean. And you don't want to be mean. You don't want to vivisect your Pokemon and just be mean like that, do you? Do you? Wait, you do? You do? What, ki what, ki what kind of sickos are you? But that's where Hikaru will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Uh, it does seem... Does a survey corpse really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisure, leisurely meal with this outsider? Captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. Slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Hikaru. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. Do I get paid? The team provides for all of its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. You're really awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't have to, you know, we won't get to have, a, that we won't get to have a car who join the survey corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Hikaru's skills. I don't. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Hikaru, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters over there.
But if you fail to pass the trial, we put you on tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, perhaps your death in the wilds. Well, that's a fine kettle of fish. Captain Selene's like Sue in a way, and they're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help, our, to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of, out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Okay. Still, people falling from the sky. That's some kind of story. Well, at least I got my own place. Uh, chest with for lots of items. Uh, drinking water. Uh, survey tips. Any tips for team members? Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Okay. A nice fire and a second hearth can keep the entire room heated. Dresser of very solid construction where extra accessor clothing can be kept. Five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Full length mirror. Change my outfit there. Uh, some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Paper lantern, it seems to use oil as its fuel. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yep. Well, something seems to have happened. The next day. Hey in there, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. These will be my quarters, I guess. Did you sleep all right? I know it's not easy in a strange new land. <sighs> We'd better not keep Captain Silene waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. Okay then, let's hurry to headquarters. I just want to see what... That is my save, and that is that, okay. Seeing what's what on the controls. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? 
Ever seen a building this grand before? No, totally not. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon. They are. They were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my poke partner Pokemon, but I guess their whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corpse will put you to rights. You uh, do realize if you fail your trial and get flung out in the village, uh, you could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Captain Silene, ma'am, I brought a Garou. May enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to go join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and get three different po series of Pokemon. A Bidoof, a Starly, and a Shinx. Three species right away. But none of us have ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you were to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Call a t-shirt and shorts, man. Ray, I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Uh, press the Y button while consulting the map. Two type missions. Request missions must be completed to, to progress your adventure. While requests are optional and given to by people you meet. Okay, side quests. Pardon me, Karu. Uh, come with me a moment. Now then, uh, jolly good morning to everyone. Uh, what do you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, uh, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Hikaru must pass this trial. And as a Professor of Pokemon, I've just got the ticket to help accomplish that. Go on, Hikaru, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? I'm going with Cyndaquil, because I like the fire types. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yep. And with that, one of one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside this Pokeball for you, uh, so take it. It's yours. You probably just kind of jammed it right in there, because... I've got a Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones are contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Look at these two cheer on their pal Cyndaquil. Or maybe they just want to help Hikaru with her trial. Well, that could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Hikaru fell from the sky. After all. Well, not to worry, you two. Uh, I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, uh, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can only be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. I got 20 Pokeballs now. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they also work as a treat, as you've already seen. 
You'll have this trial clear in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you uh, leave headquarters. I get 20 Pokeballs. I got this. Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the uh, Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of the mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Dressing the odd and novel is the key to any good merchant success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up in the to stand up to one another in battle? Not sure why not. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you two attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope uh you'll you know you'll lose your Pokemon if your Pokemon's HP reaches I know this stuff. I am Galar's champion, I know this stuff. Galar's champion twice over. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to a battle. Uh, a Togepi? Okay. Well, this is the same level. Got into the yellow. Got me into the yellow. And there goes Togepi. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Got a new move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do your do battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Okay. But so few people have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use a Pokeball. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from the little exercise. Okay, so he's my um, Pokemon Center. And now, to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Oh, good, I can use those. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you successfully, you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Ah, Capitalist. Well, if you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Whenever you leave Jubilee Village, uh, you have to pick a destination on, from your map and let the rest of the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way, someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it through this. Obsidian Fieldlands. You're Hikaru, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Yes, field is camp. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. 
Here's to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, professor, something wrong? Uh, well, you see, uh, Captain Tylen got a hold of me after you left. Uh, can you press upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest? Oh, she doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? Uh, to be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Talent, Hikaru's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So, in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started, Hikaru. I'm sure you're more than equal to this. Okay, let's do it. Catch a Bidoof. This is Aspiration Hill. Look, a Bidoof! We're finding the Pokemon- oh, I accidentally clicked something. Okay, let's get this Bidoof. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Kit Captain Siling taught me. Uh, hold on the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep your sights on it as long as it's nearby. The technique comes in to do, 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 do. Doof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully and let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. Yeah, 20 balls. The fireworks are so fun. One Bidoof caught. Now on we march. Starly, huh? Now Starly here, it's a type to run at the drop of a hat. Not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Uh, B button to crouch. I was wondering how to crouch. And that's Starly Cut too. I'm, I admit, I'm impressed so far. And I'm sure Shinx will have to battle. This makes sense. I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Silene's wise teachings. Have an item at the ready but want to send it out? Send it out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw it an item? Press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. And once you get a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. The Pokemon will hunt for berries and things and will bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partner to shine. Once you reach your final hurdle, or we reach your final hurdle, catching it stinks. Okay. 
There we go. There it is, Shinx. The one who got me yesterday. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Dis disposition. Did you know that already? Yeah. That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice things like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. Okay, more arrows, easier. The next icon will appear above Pokemon that's picked to fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon is splitting the psychic little bit of up and can't be caught in a gated battle. Okay. Not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. Draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, throw a Pokeball and try to catch it. You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at the wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learn in your battle with Volo. You know, get out there and make your last catch. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's it. I cut things. Wait, did you really? You really did? You really did it? That's three species of Pokemon caught. Really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given Professor Leventon the shock of his life. First, you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon one after another. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You completed your trial. Now I'm out of a job. No. Okay. Oh ho. oh ho, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Sakaru. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. I've got to admit it's true. You've got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you cut go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Oh, come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Sally, no, wait till our report at headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Have fun. Uh, 
Uh, seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Shame. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get a change in the room you used last night, then you have to report once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay. Excuse me, kiddo. Time to get dressed. Time to get dressed. I even get my own room. Which is nice. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get you get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use that room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Now present yourself to the commander. Guess I gotta present myself to him. I've been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Hikaru. Uh, yes sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat! I'm gonna try to throw him. I'm gonna try to throw him. Yeah! Hmm, you've got some fight in you. I assume it needs work, but I do see some potential. Good. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a potent of disaster. Portent, sorry. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, uh, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work. Of Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Hikaru. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work.
So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you need this. An Apricorn and a Tumblestone. And 3,000 um, Yen as well, or Poke Yen as well. You'll have to buy the necessary materials. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Uh, yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Uh, making items from scratch. That's right. Whenever you need to need any survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's a good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me, prattle on. Let's go to the craft works and you can try it yourself. So I won't find Pokeballs. Well done earning a place on our team. My name is uh, Ant. I'm the local clothier. Rose asked me to, uh, that I ready a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Hope you'll uh, bail yourself at the village's humble shops. Where can I can't get my. Hey, hey, this way to the craft works. I'm just gonna find the people who do the hair. This here is the craft works, and that there is the workbench where you craft things. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? So, do I have to craft like you know hundreds and hundreds of daggers to get my smithing skill increased, so I can you know make something fun? When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you with materials to make some pokeballs. I call it a present present to celebrate the passing of your trial. As for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend on however you like. In the recipes, you should get. Should tell you what materials you need to complete them. The workbench. Da, 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 choose what to do. Let's go and try it out. <sighs> okay. Got 20 of each. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the add power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them! All so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. My Pokedex. Uh, whoops, sorry. Mm. It's getting late. And by late, I mean, um, five minutes. Sun's beginning to go down. I'm getting sleepy. I need light. Okay. Test with unreported data seven. I'm prepared to this problem just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. 
complete plenty of research tests to help for us to complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use existence with. Come join me into fields and camp whenever you're ready, my good Hikaru. Okay. Hey, excuse me, I uh, couldn't help to over here. Uh, you're going to the field and camp. Would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm sending guard so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Okay, well, let's do this. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wormpole. Have you heard of it? Nope. Well, you see, I was thinking of a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it'll sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. And so I decided I want to raise a worm pole myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you get your worm pole, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a worm pole if you can. Okay. And it's like everybody's got something they want me to do for them. Feels like. Oh, you're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corpse must have to get out and compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, anyway, uh, generally do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. When I see Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please, if let me see Starly's entering that Pokedex the moment you completed it. No thinks his ears have odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. Keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the survey corps? If you get a Slinx, would you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. After I come back. And I think I am going to take a bit of a break right here. So I'm just going to get up, stretch a little bit, and... Ah, uh, well... I'll see you on the flip side. Back in a moment. There you go, I'm back. Uh, okay. I'm uh, heading up to the village. Yep, I am just heading to the fieldlands here. Just loading. Right, oh, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Okay. The down button to open my Pokedex and see... When you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can instantly check the research tasks by pressing the down button. Okay. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now there's one more nugget of wisdom I get to share, Karu. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Just watch me, would you? And then you'll be able to copy what I do. Okay, it's going to be tougher than... Here I go. See, that's how you dodge. Time to dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. 
that's the key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. And those things got me with Thundershock. Might have been done for if the security corpse hadn't come and saved me. But, hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Get ready for some Survey Corpse Wisdom. Uh, focus on the, the ZL, down to open the Pokedex, and see what tests you have for that Pokemon. I just learned that. Did you see that your research test for Badoof include one about how you, many you've caught? That's right, catching one won't do. You've got to get two, then four, then more, and more, and more, and catch them all! It's time to battle a Pokemon. Remember the Captain's Wisdom. Yep. Items up. Press X to ready your Pokemon. Caught another Badoof. Badoof. Okay. <clears throat> now this is not going to be easy. Okay, so we're switching that way. Okay. 
I'm gonna defeat this one. I know I'm laying on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon. Check your research dashboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doof up here. Okay, we find a Starly. Find a Starly. Noticed him. Okay. I think I got it. I 
One more. Way to go, Shanks. There's Shanks over there. See if there's any more Starly around. Doesn't look like it, okay. Oh, Norse to me. Okay. Sing any more. There's one over there. Okay. Let's try to get the Starly. Let's try to get. Okay, no. Nope. Let me press the dodge button. Need one more of them. Dowies. Hmm. 
There we go. We get to five. Around here you can find a, poke a certain Pokemon called Buizel. It's aggressive. And it's an adder. That means it'll try to hit you with moves, but just like Shinx. Uh, just like Shinx, and you need to battle it to catch it. Are you sure? Speaking of which, do your re your research just for Breezel. But seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move in battle for it to count toward the test. So battling it, it's extra key here. Going on ahead, uh, catch up, uh, once you've checked off some of the Buizel's tasks. Okay. It's a bit doof. Right in the back. Level two weasel should be fine. Okay, don't kill it, please. Throw a Pokeball, please. Okay, caught a Buizel. Three of them. Okay. 
more weasels around here. Not seeing any more. Okay, so those are tumble stones. I can use those in crafting, I know that much. Any more weasels, though? See, but do they're not spawning? Okay. I guess switch over to Pokeball. I need that worm pole. Whoops. Gotta switch again. I'll figure this out one of these days. It takes a little while to get used to the controls. I'm gonna go back down to the water. See if I can find another weasel.
Okay. Let's see what move I need to watch to see what a weasel for. Nope. Oh, Shanks is down. Okay, Cynical. Let's go with a Starly. I got the weasel. Okay. Any more weasels? Strike it with a Bidoof. Okay. Let's... See if I can catch it. I don't see any more weasels around. Is that an Eevee? That is an Eevee. I want that Eevee. That EV, okay. Okay, I need to. Starly.
Okay, Badoof. Escaped. Yeah, a little reward for keeping up with me. You know, Captain Kit. Okay. Recipe for potions. In the crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in satchel. As long as you got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball. Ornberry, medicine, and a leak, you can make a potion. Research going all right. Uh, you can see if you've got tasks yet. You have to do. Yep. Use quick attack plenty of times. I haven't evolved one yet, and I'm only caught one. Mm. Once you get some tests, uh, good and done. Go check in with Professor Lavington and see you soon. Okay. that over there? A, a, a medicine leak. Is that a Ponita? that Ponita first. It's going to remain perfectly motionless. I need a pony to over here.
Chaos. Nope, I didn't get it. Ran away. Hot one, finally, okay. Back up to camp here. Maybe I can get healed up there. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh ho, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Good, excellent work, dear girl. This seems to be a good time to explain to you about the survey reports and other rewards they offer. I receive money based on level and number of caught. I see more money if you build certain. Da, 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 da. And then, I'll let me check the research test you completed thus far. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with new data.
Okay, Starly, I have completed that. Oh, that's good. So I've earned 520. I made good progress on these research tests, Sir Cairo. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Saline. It's time you earned yourself a star. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Going into my quarters first. I don't want to switch out some Pokemons. I just want to see what my outfit looks like. Yep, stay in my current attire. Okay. Okay, you wanted. Uh, things to show him. Alright, let's have a peek at those round ears. Yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Yes! I totally understand all that. Yes. Uh, okay, I helped him get a bone out of his throat. Okay. Let's perform the Heimlich maneuver. Okay. Were you the one who wanted to know what the bird was? Okay. Read it. Yeah. Ah. I got plenty of starlies. A curl of feather inside those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. And you. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you have this one. Yep, you know that one. Yes, I, I did bring you on. Of course I would. Why wouldn't I? Okay, name your wormpole. To fly, I should give a name with that in mind. Buford. Name it Buford. Buford the Beautifly. Um. Butlin! Butlin! Butlin. See you later, Butlin! Okay, okay, um, 
Can I switch out from the pastors over here? These are the pastors. That's a battle court. Training grounds. Where are my... Where are the pastors? I don't want to switch my team out. How do I switch my team out? Uh, berries. I don't want us to do that. I want my, I want my, I want to clean my Pokemon up. Oh, I can't even jump into the river. What fun is that? Over there are my pastors. Okay. Okay, let's... I want to switch out... I'm going to go with the... Let's be doof. Um... And I'm going to get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of this Starly. Okay. Got a fire type on my team. I do want a um, water type. So. I'm gonna go with this Weasel. And I want to put the EV on my team. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. X. Drop Pester. I'm going to leave that until it gets filled. There we go. Mm. There, I got a team I want. Well, not want, but... From the Pokemon I have, I got a team I want. Now... Pokeball soon too. Yeah, 
If you progress record, I'll uh, just run it, show you in Pokedex. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a gold star. I'll put it up on the bulletin board. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. So now I have a rank. That's good. Uh, recipes. Oh, I can definitely use revives. Uh, that stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like, like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. No, you guys, I'm pretty much out of the way, so you guys can read this yourself, I hope, because I do not want to do the voice all the time. Did I work here? Da, da, da. And I spent another day doing stuff. So, Ikaru, my girl, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. By the way, have you taken on that request that Beauregard had? Hell, most people here don't know much about Pokemon, you noticed, right? So it's our job as the Survey Corps members to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Okay. No. Okay, what do you need? Am I of the Diamond Clan? Okay. Established good relations, I'm sure to do, 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 Okay, so storyline says go to the Diamond Clan. Next day. Uh, before I go meet Maya about the request, mind showing me how you do in battle, okay? Great, I'll be at the training grounds. I've been catching lots of Pokemon, you'll change up your team with the pastors. Just so you know, yeah, I already figured that out. I mean, that, that was easy. Okay, you're the barber. Hi. Um. Ah, uh, help me with today. Uh, hairstyling, please. Because I do not want this hair. Let's do... No. 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 Definitely not. Eh, not really. No. I'm gonna go with that. I really might need colors, huh? I 
I'll go with chestnut for now. Yep. For now. I'm trying to find some new clothes, too. What's this place? Ah, uh, looks like a general store. And that's the eatery. And this would be clothing lady. Ah, special parcel. Fancy kimono and fancy bottoms. Let's buy, let's see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna go with white for now. I think I'm going to go with the white key. Do I have money for some shoes? Let's go with a dark slate there. And I can't afford any glasses yet, but. Yeah, it's a little more, uh. A little more me. I don't know what his team's gonna be, but I think after this, I'm gonna call it. Okay, my plate is definitely most full. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. Okay. I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on a Pokemon in a battle. I know I'm a survey corpse member, and I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. You have a Pokemon? I have plenty. That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Pikachu! It's a Pikachu. Of course! It's a Pikachu. It's a Pikachu. Mm. This is my Pikachu. During that Chinks attack, I should have had Pikachu put on my sight, but my mind just went blank. Did I really, when you get down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Honestly, why should it? But watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. I want to do my survey corpse work well. My partner and I have to be at gotta be a team. Okay. But I got plenty of Pokemon. <laughs> okay, Cyndaquil, we got this. Maybe. We got this. You switch out to Bidoof. Huh? 
Probably paralyzed. Roll out. Transformers. Transform. Badoof. Transform. And roll out. Level 9. Poor Badoof. That's a pretty good fight, though. Outlevel me. Whoa, you seem so in sync with your Pokemon. Yeah, of course I do. I'm a good trainer. Amazing, the way you fight alongside your Pokemon. You don't seem once bit scared of battling. We'll have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Right, Tikapoo? Yeah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. Yes, that would be a good idea. Hang around your Pokemon. Uh, types, uh, make a difference. Battle go, electric type, yeah. Yep, I, I know type matchups. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. My name is Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. I see you've got some fight in you. I figured I'd stop by and give you what advice I could. Uh, Captain Zizu is a master of an ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon is truly master its move, you can actually use them in different styles. Ooh. On one hand, uh, you can choose to deliver its move in strong. More damage, but after all, it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. Agile style. Less power, but more quickly. Okay. Strong styles, agile style, of course, regular moves. Uh, choose which is right. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that's neat. That's neat! That's very neat. Um, powerful moves. Yep, uh, Mai's request. Past the foot of Aspiration Hill, you should come along too, okay. Get ready to meet us down there, would you? By ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring. You've been teaching your Pokemon some, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Because... I am gonna call it here. Uh, up. That's, uh, ooh. Yes, let's, uh, check mystery gifts. Any mystery gifts on the internet? No gifts, okay. Lost and found. Okay. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna save. I was gonna save. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna call it for now. Uh, 
On Sunday, I'll be showing a movie on my Twitch channel. So that's my Twitch channel only, though. Um, so go check that out. I don't know what the movie's going to be. I have an idea, but I don't know yet. And uh, next week, I'll be back with Pokemon Arceus. Uh, same uh, time, same uh, bat channel. See you on the flip side. Uh, bye.